What's up everybody, Frankie Blackbird here, coming at you again with another video. On this video, we're going to do some pico de gallo, so let's get to it. What you're going to need are some tomatoes, cilantro, onions, serrano peppers. Make sure you wash the cilantro, the tomatoes, and the serrano peppers, a knife, some lime juice, and some kosher salt. What we're going to do is we're going to chop everything. You're either going to chop it fine, you're going to you're gonna chop it chunky, whatever your personal preference is here. So, I'll get back, let me get back to you. Alright guys, when it comes to cutting a tomato, you want to cut it one direction, turn your tomato, turn it the other direction, and then what you can do also is you can cut it in half to make it easier, and then you'll turn it on its side, and just slice it on down, as such. And then when you're left with this chunk right here, you could just start taking chunks out of it. Slices. Cut around that. The, the pit, I believe that's what it is. And then just slice up the rest. Like I said, to whatever. If you want it chunky, if you want it small. Alright, let me finish the rest of these tomatoes then. Alright guys, for the cilantro, you just want to get them and basically just line up all these stalks. And at the end, you could cut all this off. You don't. I don't really eat this. I just use the green and then just roll it up into like a, just a little, little ball or whatever. And then just start slicing it. The cilantro, try to be careful with the cilantro. Just give it a rough chop because... Your, your cilantro will will taste bitter if you chop it too much. And I forgot to mention, also at the end, we're going to need some lime juice. This is a little cheater coat right here, so you don't have to mess with no cutting no limes or nothing. Just buy the lime juice. Now we're going to chop the serranos. Cut them, in, cut them four ways. Cut them down in half. Cut them in a quarter. And then take out all the insides. Alright, so this is what it looks like when you quarter them, so just make sure you come in here with your knife and you try to take all this, these white, the white vein and the, the seeds out, because this is what gives it all the heat. If you like the heat, leave it in. It is, it is pretty spicy though. This is basically what you want to be left with somewhat, you know, up here we, we could touch it up a little bit more, but I like some spice in it, so go ahead and do that. Alright guys, <clears throat> this is the finished product after you chop everything. And in here, you're going to mix everything and then you're going to sprinkle or pour some of that lime juice in here and some of that kosher salt. And that, of course, is to season to taste on how you like it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't um, record myself doing that because what I put is in what you like. If you like a lot more uh, limey flavor to it, then add a lot of lime to it. If you like saltiness, then add a lot of salt to it. What I am going to do, looks, looks beautiful, doesn't it? I am going to give you another cheat code here, guys, right quick. Check this out. You got the pico. We got an avocado. Now we got some guacamole. So what we're going to do... Get your, your avocado, cut it in half to where you meet the seed, and just follow the seed. Your blade should always stay on the seed, like that. See that? Now what we're going to do, pop this sucker open like that. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, you're going to get the heel of your knife, and you're going to tap it in here, but you're going to give it a pretty good tap, but not like overly powered, just... See right there like that. As long as it stays in there like that. And then hold the knife. Twist the avocado. And there you go. It's just cheat codes all day, man. And then check this out. Here's another cheat code real quick. You want to slice this avocado? Go into the skin. Lightly flow with the skin on it. And just bring it through the bottom of the avocado, just as such. Turn it sideways, boom, boom. 
Yeah, you see where I'm going with this right here. Now, get you a spoon. There we go. Get it all out. So good stuff right there. Now we'll do this to the second one. Kind of hard doing this on camera, so bear with me, guys. But you saw the first one. That's all basically we're gonna do. And if you want it in smaller pieces, then just get all crazy with it. And then we'll scoop this bad boy out right here, as such. Get all that yum yum. All right, now we got this right here. Okay, so now get some of your pico, just add some of this pico to it. And then just give it like a, a smash and mix. Try to smash down those bits of avocado. Incorporate everything together. And an important thing on the avocado, guys, you need to have lime juice in it because you're, especially if you're going to prep this uh, ahead of time, you need that lime juice in there because if not, your guacamole will turn brown and it will look ugly. So put some lime juice in it, and then also another. Here's another cheat code, guys. If you're gonna wrap this, put some saran wrap on it, but push it all the way down to the guacamole itself, so that there is absolutely no air flowing around it. So you'll be putting the guacamole right here where the spoon is, the the saran wrap right here where the spoon is touching. So go ahead and try this, guys. And I'll tell you another thing, man. If y'all go to a party, a little get-together, show up with this stuff. They'll be talking about you for the rest of the night. I always do. Whenever I go to my friend's house, I always take this and, and, and you know, hey, man, where's the guacamole at, bro? Where's the, where's the pico at? So I hope this was um, helpful for y'all. If you have any questions, always, always, always uh, ask questions no matter what. And uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit me up if you, if you got anything else you want to know about. Let me know. Thank you.